think if you're Fnatic, you're like, hey, guys, we're 5-0. and If you take down Boom here, it's kind of like a nice little reminder, a big confident booster that, you know, SCA, it's not all about Boom Esports, even though they did win that big Dubai land. I mean, double melee versus double melee, not something you often see in these side lanes. No. And they're taking full advantage. Ooh, a nice toss back underneath the tower. Tim's in some trouble and might be going down. It's going to be Raven nice. taking that kill. No patch can get a jump on someone like the Coggle. Like, he just wants oh, to jump off. Jump in, though. They found him. Jabs yeah, able to catch on the Tim's, and that's the dual victory. Right after he dies, he just pings exactly on top of the Radiant Void. He's like, yeah, this one. And Quick off to the side, ball. they find Armel. This Ooh. is huge. Nice. Big catch. And Coggle to defend this. Hanging around the area, picks up the tree. They immediately look trouble. to him. The swap is ready if they want to go, but the big jump in afterwards. DJ's in the midst of all of them, and now the monkey king ultimate down, connecting onto two with the boundless strike. It's just the sports Good and the over. overgrowth for the walk away, but they will kill DJ. Yep. Januel not able to get away either. So everything used, but now the duel on a Jackie and the Bushwhack. Oh, to interrupt. He couldn't get there in time. Avatos tries to go for the kill, and they get him. FBC Tim's running away. Armel, he does so much damage. They got to run away. Oh, he guesses the correct direction. And FBC now in trouble. Good boundless strike Lord. connection onto two blinding light. It's not enough. I, I mean, th this is a really cool combo together with Legion. Uh, but yeah. she needs to be careful, because yeah. that is a zip from downtown. It looks like Jab has uh, finally overstayed his welcome. It's the fact that Fnatic just don't have the damage to, to deal with him. Oh, Armel's right on a ward again. Oh, they know where you want to sit on the coddle. And Monkey King jump in, FBZ afterwards. Armel has to E-Blade himself. Does he have a way out of here? The blast comes through and tries to live. Can he get away? It doesn't look like it. So Yopaj comes in and another kill onto Armel. They're doing it with Puddles respawn on a much like 30 seconds. Last time it was like 10 to 15 seconds. This time around, DJ on the front lines, he pops it. They have to press the attack, but the call is just run away. They, they can't go yeah. for that right now. Free Roche for Boom and Storm. Well, Dream Aegis Candidate. Raven shows. Yeah, they saw one or two bottoms on Fnatic, so they know that Fnatic is split up. They do have KB ready baby. on Raven. Avalanche, there's the bushwhack. Do they just try and burst him here? Jackie's in the area as well, thinking about going BKB TP out. And Raven should be able to escape from that one. Yeah. DJ may pay the price here if they want to chase him down, and looks like they sure as hell do. Yeah, that will be an easy pickup there. Maybe a chance here for a swap into yeah. duel if they step too far forward. I mean, it's just, it, it, that is the strength. But this big smoke up, this could be cool here. Yep. There you go. BKB on Ursa. Jabs, Jabs knows, but he's going to get caught nonetheless. Jabs going to go down, and Yopaj can't find any more afterwards, but they won't have the Legion commander to try and defend mid. The game gets really hard to play because he can just jump the back lines unafraid. Like if he, you know, maybe he can die once, but he's not dying twice. Can't In a room. Room. Looking for one. The Ravage gets out as the duel came out, and now E-Blade combo through dead. Do they have anything else? Raven getting beat down by Jackie, but the Overgrowth is there. He pops in Rage, tries to run, but the Tiny is dead, and now looking for more, they're also going to find the Legion. Take the Tide, but it comes at a price. Ideally, on some of these BKB targets, that could be a game changer as well. Tim's. Oh, he misses this. Boundless. Completely off the mark. FBZ pops the, the Ravage, though, and dead, but still alive. Round two of this one, the duel is there. Jackie, they get the stun off. All of this damage coming out from the Vengeora. Raven is hitting so hard over and over again on FBC. Now finding Yopaj, they gotta run. He's got another swap. Way too much damage. The swap round two. Oh, he never ran in time. Unreal. The jungle, it has betrayed you. They're going for Roshan here. Can Boom make a play? They're still three dead. Storm, he's thinking about zipping. He's got an item slot. Can Looking for it. it. Big no. jump through, but it's not going to be there in time. Raven, Ooh. too quick on the fingers. Gets the shard as well. And now low on mana. Ooh, can they get out? Trying yeah, they will jewel. be able to. Make Tim's life a bit more difficult. He can't just, you know, use that vision advantage. And Raven is just going to get to work. And he's got a free DD there with the Benjor. Abyssal Blade out. Swaps Whoa. in Jackie. Now they're all there. The duel comes out afterwards. How much damage do they have left in the tank? Can they kill them all up? The BKB still working. 15 seconds until Roach. Raven backs away. Ooh. DJ yeah. about to die. Still going down low, and eventually he's gone. Another now swap. swaps out. Pulls him in. Able to find Yopash. He's dead. Two gone. And I think they can stick around. This might be yeah. more. There's luckily for Boom, Tier 2 Tower still up, but maybe they go for Tier 4. There's no buyback on either of these heroes. 
And that's something Fnatic may be aware of just because of the fact they bought out. Like, they only just got Abyssal. They just got this, uh, this Aghanim oh, Scepter. Oh, like my these, God. I think they know these heroes may not have buyback. They don't oh, know for sure. Oh, my but God. They're going for a miracle. Raven, he gets the AC, and they're beating away at it. Oh. I, I don't know how you hold it, this at this point. I think it might just be over. Yeah, at this point, they know there's no buyback. They're like, they're not buying back. We've got this. We're going oh, to the throne. Oh, they cut the tree in on it now. Ravaged everything they could possibly do to try and stop the, the pain, but it is not going to happen. They focus the throne. GG is called, and Fnatic sneak one away from Boom. What a game one. Really cool. Yeah. <laughs> just such great patience. Something Husk has done really well is he's just kept the lane equilibrium on his hill. So if the lane's here, Ember can't come to the lane. He did manage to stack the camp. He's going to come back and try to leech some XP now. He wants to try to get this lane to push out. And Armel does have a double rate. So he's lost that equilibrium. This top lane, first blood goes down. It's going to be a bit of a trade here. Jackie does get the return kill on the Tim. So first blood gold is nice, but Jackie going to be happy with the solo XP on his game. Just because this hero is like either when he's unkillable, you just avoid fighting him and it, it doesn't have very good catch. So the end result is Huska takes, you know, once he gets items, he's going to start oh. death pulling down lanes. Oh. FBZ, okay, he gets caught there. Tried to burrow strike out, but there wasn't a way. Yopash makes the rotation in. Raven's still here with the bear. They get the Savage Warp and that might be enough. No, the stun is going to be there. And then they take down Jabs. So Fnatic, they made the move, okay. but can't quite find anything. Yep, they do, but at the same time, boom, they've got a blink on Sanking, so they're looking to kind of play more pick-off Dota. You want to go for objectives? That's going to fall apart if we start finding some kills. FPZ with the Epicenter initiation on the jabs. Oh, they should have the damage here. A second late on trying to throw yeah. that spear out, but a great play from boom, and then they find that kill. Let's see, we are how far away? About 500 gold from the mechanism. Raven moves on in, and with Armel down here too, and having... Jabs in the area. Actually, they find FBZ. He gets caught there. The root is out. And now everybody's going up to this one. Arena down. Tips is dead. He just came into death. Yo, Paj. Maybe round two of this one. Do they want to fight? It looks like the call is no. There was a chance for a buyback there, but they decide not to go for it. Well, they're chasing him. Okay. okay. Oh, the scam is going to get caught on the other side of this one. Wants to run away. Dust out, but not quite on the mark for the Weaver. Fanatic have a bit of a trap laid out there. They're smoked up. Using Armel kind of as bait almost. Oh, and they find him. Nice play. That ward, so sneaky. And now tries to get away. The Hex, the combo, it's all out. And it looks like the Sand King is about to die. FBZ caught and killed. So 30 seconds. Can they go in and take an objective? Not an easy kill to get, though. And yeah, they're not even going to try and chase him. He's already now out. Mid. Life healer. Hims, everybody wow. TP'd bottom. There's nobody there. They do remnant back. Yopa is trying to keep him fine and dandy, but this looks like Fnatic are going to take another tier one tower and the death ball is starting to get put together. DJ, he's getting punched, he's getting pummeled. Oh, good tier though from Raven and now Scam caught with the turnaround. The bro strike is there. DJ in trouble, DJ dead. No buyback for him and with the Huskar gone and Lo Druid, what a huge win for Boom. They just got eaten alive in the meat grinder there. The Grimstroke Sand King combos. He needs setup. He's usually you want to pick. I mean, any any of these kind of cheesy right click carries, like they they need to play around stuns a lot of the time. Right. It, it feels like for Fnatic, it has to. Well, we have to hold that thought as they find themselves an opening here onto Jabs, and well, he is gonna die. They do jump immediately onto Tim's here, and he's gonna fall down as well. Skim in the area. DJ, he's caught. DJ does have a tether to try and get away, but it's not gonna be enough. The they just want this tier 3 tower almost, it feels like. It's so low. Yeah. Mars is there. Tim caught. Arena, Spear, they're ready to go. Round two of this now. BKB out from Yopaj, trying to get some damage there onto Jab. Do they have enough? The epicenter for the turnaround, but do they get the heals? It's off already from Ooh, Iowa. He gets them away. Nice look it out. All those rotations bottom. Like, they're kind of at that point in the game where... Okay, they'll lose CJ where... If you're Fnatic, you're thinking, we just got to buy out time and basically wait out this Aegis, so... Yeah, and they don't get that Tier 2 tower, notably. Yeah. But right back the other way. Boom, instantly kind of smoking oh, up and trying to see who they can find. Raven's still sticking around here. He may be a viable kill for Boom. Anywell is nearby. They have... Well, there's the cleanse, and now the save afterwards. Purge used on the Yopaj. The Burrow Strike is through. Now the jump forward jab. Trying to do what he can to turn this back around. Will it be enough though? No. 
They won't be able to make anything else happen. And in fact, Jabs is dead. Boom. Make a huge turnaround over the last couple of minutes. And now they find a third. Why not? They're just hunting. It's to take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only oh. reason I can stick around. And, and Arena. Kim's because of it. Nicely played there to get that kill. Can they find anything else afterwards? Eight seconds left on this life break. Jackie. Still hanging out in the area. FBZ is nearby. They have Epicenter if they want to use it. Oh, right on top of them, and they find it. Yopach. Oh, we got it, though. This life out. You kidding me? Able to get away from the life break, and that's everything. Fnatic are nowhere left to go. They are all going to die if they don't get the heck out of here. Jabs TP with the BKB. What a freaking slight dodge. <laughs> but they're going to have to reveal themselves in the process, so... Next step is trying to take out this clipboard, which is Jab is going to blink forward to do. He BKBs. Nice reaction. Armel down low, but the save is there. Afterwards, yep. they have anything left in the tank. He jumps, he catches, he kills. Armel getting healed Heals. up, and now the disarm, but a good infest. That gets him away. Tim's might still be in trouble. This leech, it's wearing out soon, and Raven's there. They're starting to do a ton of damage, but will it be nice. enough? They jump in, find Armel. He has to buy back, get back into this fight. Raven now trying to run, but they have a catch with the bear. Well, Jackie runs away afterwards. They don't want to fight round two of this Huskar. Able to imprison. They find the Life Sealer, but can they have enough to kill him? They jump okay. forward. They find him. The taunt. He's caught. He might go down there, but Armel, he hits so hard at second round. They have the spear, the control for Jackie, but do they have the damage? The bear, he just can't stand toe to toe. This Life Sealer is too freaking strong. And Yopaz right there as well. Looks for Yopaz the catch, and they'll caught? find him. That's huge. Silence for the moment. The spear to follow, and they get the kill. Jackie wants Jackie. to run in. He has to do it alone here. They don't have Yopaj. Armel, they that. got him. He's done. And Jabs Ooh. will manage to escape, but boom, they win the big fight and a dieback on Armel. Hey, because Life Steel is going to be able to heal through it all. And they stop Roshan. They're going to go for a steal here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Did he almost get anything? Nothing. He's killing him, though. Oh, Tim's oh defense God. save. He almost just kills Tim's there. Wow. Well, Jabs, he gives his life for the cause. Uh, but it was all not meant to be, and 10,000 gold lead. And let's be real, like, you know, Yopaj, this is not the first Tuskar that has tried to counter him in lane. From one lane to the next, boom, they get the mid lane of Rax, and they go in for top now as well with this Aegis lifesteal on the front lines. Let's see how Fnatic address this one. They've just got to get in there at some point, so Jackie is just not the target when to go on. They get fire Oh struck. my god, the save is there. Finding the back Ooh, line jabs, but they're not even hit. No spear. Tips gets away. And Armel pops the BKB, turns now, wants to kill FBC. He's done. Can they get any more? Needs to inner fire. Bad. It's not enough. And Armel is going to die. 80 seconds on the sideline. What more can they do? I don't think the answer is anything, as Fnatic are going to lose their entire base. One bear left. It just feels like they couldn't use that laning advantage to turn it into anything mid game, but one last hurrah, perhaps. Yep, and Jab will get saved for the moment, but he's coming out into a whole world of hurt. The root was there also to stop DJ from connecting with the tether, and GG is going to be called FEZ rightly, giving some props to Jackie, who uh, was the one that really held it down from that top lane. This life sealer is such a perfect answer for the lone druid. And they, they've got tangos coming out, but that's it. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Raven, see if he sticks around. He's going to get past those tangos. So, yeah, he will stick around. But this is very rough for him in his lane. Back at mid, DJ now with the Abaddon rotation. He thought he had the Storm, but it's the Storm who has him. First blood goes Yopaj's way. Should be able to get at least a Shadow Demon, and Raven's going to die too if he doesn't realize what's going on here. They did not scout this move. Yeah, Raven did just dodge a spear, so that might give him a false sense of security. Has it back up in two seconds, but the rotation is coming in afterwards. DJ in the area. The silence already comes out. Now the connections, a couple more punches. Yo, Paj low, but not quite dead. And Armel looking for the burrow strike, waiting for his moment, and they will eventually find it. Huge pickup okay. as they get the kill on the storm. The Jabs is going to be able to have a similar type of performance in this game where he can, you know, as the sort of main hero that's having a good time, can he, can he carry the game for him? Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Right now, they see this Sand King farming a big stack of Ancients, and boom. I want to come in and contest it. It's all it's the big, the juicy ones left. This is a lot of gold. FBZ, he finds them. Oh, they get him right away. Jabs in trouble. Jabs dead. And Armel, I mean, he is going to be able to take a couple of those large camps. They need this to work, but Storm is just playing further back. And DJ, FBZ's smoke revealed. Looking for him. 
Wants to kill him. Will be enough though. They won't what? be able to find the finish. And they, they miss need... completely. Yeah, there was Broken? they need a follow-up stun. I think DJ was going for the sharpshooter, but they're gonna maybe get FBZ instead. Round two of this, holding on to the Doom. Jabs, hanging on to it, wants to kill FBZ and go for round two of this, but he's stunned and he's gonna get killed without casting a Doom and Armel Invis. They know right where he is, but I don't know if they're going to be able to finish him off. Armel able to get out with that Invis run. And DJ right behind him here. They are going to go immediately, but a tough chance for a kill. DJ throws it out. There's the bushwhack to follow up and the kill. Gabs may stick around for too long here. We're kind of that desperate start of the game where you just got to stick around longer for farm. Pop Salty immediately down. Silence is there and Doom. He's done. It's tricky. When you're losing, you feel like you have to take chances and be greedier. And sees all these heroes come in to kind of either set up or defend. And oh, immediately no. the dust is out. The bushwhack to turn. But will it be enough? No. FBZ already there. And they find the hoodwink too. <laughs> Fanatic just can't catch a break. And now tier 2 tower down means outpost control. Roshan theoretically. Oh, and no. Storm's not done. Yeah. Yeah. Januel found. He was just on top of the ward. Let's him die to the soul burn. Burns through all of his mana, gets the kill. Pushing out mid and top, controlling this entire top side, and forcing Fnatic to come back to defend rather than defending more than giving Fnatic more space. And Jabs, he's just going to get caught and killed here. And they does not get a chance to get off a of Doom or anything at all. Now purchasing the gem on Abba. Fnatic feel like they can safely farm, but it just isn't enough. And they're not done. Armel. Oh, and the Orcus catches the Shadow Demon. Really nicely played. And that's going to be Armel dead. Yeah. Not till later. You go like BKB afterwards. <laughs> that's the ultimate stay alive. The full, yeah. Well, Fnatic could use a little bit of Dude, that uh, help right now. Stay alive. I don't think it's going to happen this time. BKB used from Jabs. Wants to go for him. Doesn't use the Doom because this fight is already over. Everybody's dying. Can even one get away? Armel has to blink off in the trees and TP out. But uh, I think if they tie for first, there would be a, a tiebreaker match. Okay. Game. Well, oh, big stuff Daniel here. Awesome. Gotta run away. They're chasing like someone you. Someone has to die here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, they wait. definitely are. They were yeah. just deciding which one do we want to kill? The support or do we try to get a sand king? Well, well, maybe we'll get both. <laughs> Our metal has to get the heck out of there. Yeah. And Disruptor ulti, or excuse me, uh, Shadow Demon ulti used on FBZ before he ended up going to the grave. But now pressuring the high ground. Boom. Wanting to take this one oh, in yeah. hand. Oh. And the spear ends up finding <laughs> our metal of all heroes. Smoke. Always smoke pops up. Tim spots him. Ready for the jump in? Ooh, the X afterwards. Now Jabs walks forward. Still has Doom used onto this Medusa. Will it be enough damage, though? She just walks away. Keeps on punching. Not afraid. And Jabs going to get saved at the last second. But the jump in from Yopaj is there. Pulling back onto both of them. FBZ being that bulwark right in front. We're going to TI to skim. <laughs> and uh, good game is called as Fnatic can read the writing on the wall. And it's all yeah. coming up, boom. They may not be going to TI just yet, but they're going to the Major. And with 